What's up you guys, it's Dana and welcome to the Bougie Black Girls YouTube channel or welcome if you are new. Today we are going to be doing a quick review of a couple of glasses that I purchased from Lensmart online. This video is not sponsored. I paid for these glasses with my own money out of my own pocket. Um, but as someone who's been wearing glasses since elementary school and contacts since high school, um, I'm not even gonna tell y'all what my prescription is because um, it's, it's, it's up there, it's high. I think I'm a pretty solid judge um, of what is or isn't a good pair of glasses. I feel like recently, especially with like prices and inflation going up, buying from the optometrist, one, has gotten really expensive, but it also has just not as many options, as many styles that I would like. Um, and I'm somebody who really does like to have like a funky pair of glasses or two. So that way when I'm going out, if I don't want to put on my contacts, but I don't kind of want just a basic frame, I can, I can have a little bit more fun. So I got a total of three pairs of glasses and paid $61.75. That does include $12 that I paid for priority rush shipping. Um, that's gonna be my first little kind of ding or note towards the company is that the standard shipping really was going to take a long time. And so I think that was listed about like 10 to 12, 12 to 14 days, whereas the priority shipping was only about like five to seven days. Um, so that's gonna be kind of something I would recommend you keep an eye out for, kind of note that if you're in a rush for these glasses that you will wanna plan to pay for the priority shipping or just kind of plan it out so you can wait for them. Um, I had broken my only pair of glasses and really was just sick of wearing my contacts everywhere. So it was worth it to me to pay the additional shipping charge. But with that being said, the order did get here pretty fast seven days on the nose um, and had no issues with the delivery at all. I think they sent it through DHL if I'm not mistaken. So let's go through each individual pair, starting off with kind of the most like baseline normal pair um, and then we'll work our way up to something that's a little bit more fun and adventurous. So the first pair of glasses that I got are called Baltasura and I will go ahead and try these on for you guys now. Um, these are really cute and simple. I think that these are going to be a great pair just for kind of everyday wear. Um, I exclusively wear gold jewelry, so I really like this pair because it kind of has the combination of the clear frame, which I feel like is really in right now, um, as well as the little gold accents with the hardware. So two of kind of my favorite things for glasses right now. Um, and you can definitely see the reflection of my janky light setup through all of these lenses, so I will apologize in advance. Um, <laughs> but I think that this pair is super cute. Um, I think that these are gonna be great for work, kind of just for my everyday casual kind of like, you know, I get up, I put on my glasses kind of thing, um, as well as kind of just for when I'm hanging around the house. As far as like how I can see through them, um, it's fine. Um, these are the measurements that the website will ask you for. And I did have to like measure the distance between like one pupil to another to make sure that I can like see through the glasses. I can't remember what that term is called, but that will be here as well. Um, and I used um, an app to do that. I'll link that app below if you guys wanna check that out and, and use that for um, your measurements yourself, but your optometrist can uh, provide that for you. Um, and yeah, it's fine. Like I didn't have any of that like motion sickness that you get when you put on a new pair of glasses sometimes. So um, these are great. I absolutely love these and I think they're going to be perfect for my everyday. Okay, so the next pair I got is called Bahati, and these were $19.95, um, which makes them the most expensive like individual pair that I got. But again, in comparison to how much you can pay for glasses, like that's not bad. Um, so I think these are gonna be my favorite. They have this clear kind of um, frame, which again, as I mentioned, I really enjoy, but it's got this kind of like gem embossing at the bottom, which I think is just so cute and so different. So let's give this a try. Oh, wow, you guys, I actually freaking love these. Y'all, look at how cute these are. 
I'm not really a cat eye frame girl. And as you can kind of see, I'll try and come up close to the camera here. They've got like this little cat eye on either side. Um, and then it kind of rounds out here. But I think this is so cute. This is so stylish. And I was scared that it was gonna be like, I don't know, sometimes cat eyes, if you're not careful, I feel like it was gonna give like a little bit of grandma. Um, but I'm not getting that from this at all. Like these are just so nice and so fun. I feel like if I have a really nice like pantsuit, professional baddie moment, like these are gonna be the frames. So absolutely love these. They are so adorable. Um, these are the ones that I saw on like an Instagram TikTok ad or something that made me even check out the website in the first place. Um, and they've been getting kind of rave reviews from the girls. Absolutely, absolutely love these. Um, definitely going to be wearing these a lot, I can already tell. So last but certainly not least, we have um, the most kind of fun, different pair that I have. Definitely gonna be more for like going out social events, but these are called Navaje Nevea. Um, and they are $14.95, um, so kind of like right in the middle of the price point, um, size medium in the color white. Um, and so it's again, that theme of like the white and the gold hardware, the white and the clear hardware that just for me personally, in, in my wardrobe, I like the most. So we will give these a try. As you can see, it's like a round frame and it's got this fun little like line detail on it that I just thought was so interesting. Um, I really do like round glasses, but sometimes they can be hit or miss. Oh my gosh, y'all, these are so fun. These remind me of like, I don't know, if, you know, pretty sedity black girls went to Hogwarts um, or like, I've never watched the show, but like what I think Doctor Who is about, like if there's a black girl on Doctor Who, doing like science and math and magic shit. Like she would wear these, which is kind of totally my vibe. So yeah, absolutely fucking adore these. I think these are so cute. Um, I feel like I could even get away with like wearing them a little bit more um, on the everyday, but just because I would want to pull these out when I'm trying to have a little razzle dazzle, um, I'd probably save them. Okay, so overall thoughts, um, the price point of these glasses, um, five out of five stars. Um, they, you're really not gonna find many, you know, places, um, brick and mortar, especially if you're like physically going to like an eye doctor's office where they have like, you know, glasses sales and things like that. Like you're not gonna find a price point um, that low. I probably paid for three glasses, what I've in the past paid for like one single pair. As far as the construction of the glasses go, they all seem pretty sturdy. Like they don't seem any more fragile than any other pair of glasses that I've had. I would say maybe the the frames that kind of have that like diamond setting at the bottom um, are of the three pair, the ones I'd want to be a little bit more gentle with just because I'd, I'd be concerned that maybe one of those gems would pop off. but. It's kind of not something that I'm like immediately concerned about. Um, I didn't really opt for any extras. I kind of just got like the basic lenses with the basic kind of like um, thickness and coating. So that may, you know, potentially cause some wear and tear in the future. But I am normally somebody who one is very gentle with my glasses in general and two, out of like seven days a week, I'm probably wearing my contacts four out of five days. So I don't put a lot of like pressure on my glasses. If you're somebody who does glasses every day, I think if you just maybe opt in to up some of the um, little special features and things that you'll get from your glasses, like um, the extra anti-coat scratching and things like that, which uh, Lens Smart does offer, um, then you'll be good to go. Out of everything, I think my two biggest like complaints or like areas of critique are number one, the shipping time and the shipping cost. I know a lot of that is kind of just because of the world and the shipping delays that people are having right now. So I really won't hold that against them too, too much. Second, I would say that my biggest point of critique is that I really just do not like these uh, glasses cases that they gave. Number one, um, this color is just not cute. To me, um, this denim corduroy, I don't know what this material is, don't really love that. Um, and then also, um, these are just like pretty flimsy. And so as somebody who would really love to be able to just like 
put my glasses in the case and then throw them in my purse with everything else that may be in there or like a backpack or something um i absolutely would not use this case for that so i would probably opt into um just some of the personal cases that i already have so if they're looking to kind of change anything upgrade anything my recommendation would be these cases because this is probably just not something that i would use but overall i'd probably say i would give lens mart um probably like an 8.5 maybe even like a 9 out of 10. um i absolutely would and probably will be ordering from them again um i'll definitely have to see how the glasses hold up um with the everyday but just off of first impressions, I think they're gonna do just fine. They're gonna be just as sturdy as any other glasses that I've owned. Um, and I'm definitely excited to um, get dressed um, and wear some of these tomorrow. All right, you guys, so I think that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for checking out the review. Um, if you're interested in seeing the written version of this review, you can head over to thebougieblackgirls.com where I'll have just some more of my thoughts on each individual pair, um, as well as some links and other you know feedback that I may not have mentioned here. Um, definitely make sure you like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel so we can keep making more videos just like this one, hopefully grow on this platform as well. Follow at Bougie Black Girls on social media. We're on Instagram and TikTok. Um, and make sure you are checking out the first uh, Bougie Black Girls production podcast, Black Girl Roundtable. If you're coming over from Black Girl Roundtable, welcome. Hello. Happy to have you here. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.